All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another playthrough of The Last Door. Um, couple things I want to do is one, I want to turn down the game music a little. Last time it was a bit loud. It's nice, but it, it can get a bit loud. Um, so that should be good. Um, so last thing we did was that we were introduced to our main character, Mr. Devitt. Um, he went to his friend's house, Anthony Beechworth, and um, he determined and found out that his friend committed suicide. And his friend left a note for him, Mr. Devitt, that um, basically said to go back to his old to their old boarding school, which is where we're at now, um, to discover something. And it should hopefully explain why our friend committed suicide in the first place. At the moment, we have um, a coin that we got from this guy who's talk, who's screaming the name Juliet. Um, we have a glass mirror shard um, from a broken mirror in a bathroom. We have a music box we found. There's another one? Oh my gosh, bro. I have not even opened my door to the outside. I don't know how these flies keep getting in my apartment. Anyway, um, we have a log that we found outside. We have a net that we found outside and then a stone ornament. So what I'm trying to figure out now is this. There was a tapestry over here. Wait a second, I'm gonna kill this fly. I'll be back. Let's play it for the woman upstairs. Oh, what a beautiful melody. It reminds me of my youth where I was vibrant and full of purpose. I knew my path then. Oh, may God bless you for your giving me the sign I was looking for. Okay, now. From this vantage point, I can see the roofs of the Aberdeen beyond that copse of trees. Okay, that's exactly what I was thinking. Can I place the netting there? The pipe is full of debris, okay. I think that would be useless, rude. I think that would be useless. Again, very rude. So, a, pot, a lot of dry leaves have accumulated in a hole of this old rusty, rusty pipe. They are blocking the water stream. Okay, so yeah, just take them out. So now I'll put the net. I could cut myself with the edge of the pipe. Oh my gosh, grow up! I'm joking. The wood is too soft and will bend, so use this. Okay. I blunt the sharp edge of the pipe, but I need not, now I need not fear being cut. I'll put that there. There we go. That actually catch anything coming down the pipe. So now, okay, we figure it out. Now we can turn on the water. Making that go down the pipe. we can go and catch it. That godforsaken fly is bad. I'm gonna go kill it. I'll be right back.
I hate these things. I hate these things so much. Makes no sense. Okay. Oh, now I hear you again. Where are you, little bastard? <laughs> anyway, the net has caught a shiny object. What is it? A teardrop. Okay, my guess is I will go to one of the Mary statues. Or statues. I placed the glass tear in the in a hollow of the virgin's cheek. It seems that it fits perfectly. Okay. Please, someone piety. I already told you that you cannot be here. But da da da. Wait. In the eyes of the fervent devotee, it can look like a real tear. If only I can make it shine. Please help. Oh, oh the, our mother is crying? Oh my lord, what does it mean? What have I done? What have we done? So I get rid of that one. So now I can speak to the gentleman. Hey, yo, what's wrong with you? You must <laughs> help me. <laughs> well, what can I do? What's wrong with you? There's a little. There's little time. I tell them about my pain. I describe the unbearable and endless pain. Yet they do not listen. They pass by me without even looking at me. They say that they are praying for me, but it does not cure my ailment. But, sir, uh, I... I know, but I beseech you. You will be saving me from horrible torture. I will be eternally indebted to you. Um... Hmm... Let's go for I will, however difficult this would be for me. I understand. Your request is terribly hard for me. I guess I could find the courage to help you. I understand the matter to what I'm I, what I am asking. God bless you, sir. I do not know how I can show my gratitude. What I need you to do is, without the nuns noticing, to try to get an amount of morphine enough so, so that I can be embraced by the deepest of dreams and that way stop the rhythm of my heart. So he wants me to get him a bunch of morphine. Well, we know where morphine is. That's upstairs. I really... ta -da. And there should be no one at his bedside because the nun went off to Oh, he gone! Honey! There's a note on the bed. Baldwin lies. Baldwin lies. Just that over and over again. Shall we go speak to Baldwin? <laughs> Let's go speak to Baldwin. Notice is coming from inside the coffin. Hmm. So I need something with leverage to break it open. And Baldwin is conveniently absent now. So I need another object. What's this? Oh no. A nun's habit and a walking stick. There is no doubt belonged to the nun I spoke to by the window, but where did she go? Find something left behind. Did she walk into the ocean? Can I take the walking stick, possibly? No. 
No? Alright. So now I need some type of object that will allow me to pry open this thing. There you are, you little bastard. gone and I still need to give him the morphine one way or another and I need something with leverage to open up the oh he's gone too oh, I just know his note oh I think we read that He's still here. She's still there. So now we have a log. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit. She is praying fervently. So, can't talk to her, I suppose. So, I need something that will allow me to get some leverage. Let's think. I guess we can try searching the room, see if we can find Baldwin. There he is. Tell me about Monsieur. I cannot rightly say. After all these years, I have never seen the man. Who knows? Maybe he does not exist. But Mary, Mother, da da da. I'm flattered, my da da da. I should let you go back to your work. Excuse me, interruption. I'll lead you to your work. Have a nice evening. It looks like there's toolbox. I wonder if there's something useful in it. So I would basically need him to go away. I might be able to take a look if I can keep him distracted. Please do not touch my tools. There it is. I need to do something to trigger him to talk. Tell me about my, my mother. She is pretty strict. I can I can tell you that much, Mr. Devon. Um, do not think she likes me very much either. Tell me about this place. Tell me about this place. Well, the construction of this building was ordered by an epo Episcopal Bishop of Aberdeen in 1805. Tell me about Aberdeen. Tell me about Aberdeen. It was a place where I was born and raised, one of the biggest cities in Scotland. If you look there, da, 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 da. it's the highest point of the city. You seem a bit distracted, Mr. Devon. Oh, do not worry about it. I'll let you get back to your work. Excuse the interruption, Mr. Baldwin. I'll leave you with your work. Have a nice evening. Okay, so now we have arbitrary tool. That the darkness of his eye. His body is petrified. He has a look of sheer terror in his eyes. Oh my god! What has happened? Talk! Talk to me! 
Mother Elizabeth is trying to make him come to his senses. Well, guess what? Now that he's distracted, and when she's distracted, I can go in here. The door's locked. Oh, of course. A large, bright, ornate key. Perfect. All right, we in. That's what I need to do. I need to trigger the events to allow that to happen. Don't look into his eyes. Because the deepest darkness dwells in his eyes. Come in, my son. Did you think you could hide these books from me? They're, they're just classic philosophy books, father. Plato and Aristotle. Silence! Instruments of falsehood, you mean. Fallacies coming from the snake. Now, son, get on your knees and raise your arms. Apologize to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. That's why I don't like Catholics. Or Catholicism, more like it. <laughs> it is Latin, malum in se, evil in itself. A strange eye shaped symbol. A strange eye shaped symbol. Eye of the bird. What does this mean? Lord, your eyes burn on, burn me. I don't deserve mercy nor forgiveness. Oh Lord, have mercy on my soul. Who are you sending me? Is that to whom you are handing me over? Has my hourglass already run out of sand? Father Ernest. Ernest. It's been many years since I last heard that name. Since, oh, I see. Father, I'm here to be able to remember. You have to help me, I beg you. Please, entre entreaties, entreaties, petitions. Is that where you say that? Entreaties? I guess so. Praying, torment, exemption, past times bring us just misfortune and pain. Father Ernest, I was one of your students. One of my old students, you say? It's only the Lord who teaches us. We all must follow his ordinances and disciplines. Get closer, son. Come pray to next to me. I don't wanna. A creepy image of Jesus crucified or Christ crucified. Inexplicably, it has a dark cloth covering his eyes. The makeshift altar is coated in a dense layer of wax. The candles have almost burned out, only barely illuminating, only barely illuminate the room. He has a large burn covering his eyes. He is completely blind. Despite his decrepitude, extreme thinness, and paleness, I can still recognize Father Ernest. But he seems far away, like in another world. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Now, my son, tell the Lord what one is his voice, the sharp sword, the wise quail, or the delicate petal. Which one is his word? Um... Sword? The sharp sword. Yes, yes, that's it, my son. The Lord with the sharp sword transmits us his wisdom, his power, and his punishment. And now, my son, tell the Lord which one is his holy path, the wise virtue, the endless blame, or the blessed penance. Um, blessed penance? The, the blessed penance? No, no, no. Your soul is embraced by the darkness. And now, my son, tell the Lord who you are, the faithless pilgrim, the gate god, or the lost seaman. Uh, uh, 
faceless pilgrim. The face we No, no, no. There's no salvation of the Lord over your soul. Now leave me. I have to purify my soul. Whoops. I jacked up. I need to try again. I know you are. I know you are there. You didn't hear me? Get out of my room. Despite being blind, he perceives good hearing. I must be careful when moving. I know you're there, you didn't hear me get out the room. Okay, so I need to be careful. No, hearing me. I think it's best to move when he's like moving himself or coughing. Darn it! I was right there! Dear God in heaven, I feel for you. Your light is in my eyes. I will burn them for you. Dear God in heaven, I feel myself in you. Your eyes are in my soul. I will burn it for you. Dear God in heaven, I feel fear myself in you. Your sword is in my hand. I will burn them for you. Dear God in heaven, I hate myself in you. My blame is in your heart. I will burn myself for you. So let's feel that again. The eyes are in my soul, sword is in my hand. So, is there a reason for me to go back in there? I feel like there's something else I have to do in there. Interesting. Well, I'm going to stop there because I need Earth to work. Um, I feel like there's probably something I can do to get in there. And I'm not sure if there's any like what else I need to do in there, but I have a feeling there is something else I gotta do in there. <laughs> I have to get that um the order of the prayer right. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing next time. All right, well, um, took a little bit of time, but we finally got somewhere. We're not as lost as we were before, and we're still doing it without a walkthrough. So I have to say that is a pretty good start to things. All right, so I hope you guys are still enjoying this, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.